Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, OXVU, and, well, let's see if it works this time, because this is the fourth recording, I think, of this episode. And before I do anything else, I would like to apologize to all of you as I'm opening this door. By the way, I never explained how to go through the items. Well, that's another thing I have to apologize for. Um, You go through the items in your menu by using the directional pad, left, right, left, right, left, right, and use them by pressing black, and we will go through this door as soon as it realizes that I'm over there, and we'll use our key again on this oddly placed lock. Oh, as before we get, as soon as we stop being screwed, oh, and just hide behind here, and we're fine. Please, please. And we're fine. Okay. Zone clear. I kind of like that those are one use, that they just disappear afterwards. Now let's not run. And we'll use our key on this on this oddly placed lock right after another lock of the exact same kind. Well, I guess I understand so, that it's so you can't use your um, your disc launcher. But still, I always kind of, kind of found that funny. And for the longest time, I never understood why they had these laser things here. I just figured, oh, hey. They just put them here and forgot to take them out because they were going to do something else with them. But, as you can see, it locks down when the alarm is raised, so I guess it's to trap you in here if he sees you. But we're going to take a picture of this right now and send it to the governor so we can get that door unlocked. Upper floor? Okay, I see where you're at. We'll start but... But, here's the thing, I'm going to try opening it first, before even looking at that, because I played this same level three or four times, so I'm pretty sure I know what the code is by now, because they don't change it. There we go. I mean, it's not really anything important anyway, it's just like, oh, hey. I think we've got it. Try that one. Yeah. Oh, hey, I think we found the, found the right code. Oh, anger and frustration. Gone. Okay, I'm, I'm happy again. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people, won't you listen to... Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> I pressed X while I pressed Y. Won't you listen to me? I just had a sandwich. Not any ordinary sandwich. A sandwich covered with jellyfish jelly. be happy like that guy. But yes, as you can see, they're bringing our, our Uncle Page to the lo loading dock. Your Excellency. And I don't know what this guy's problem is. The problem has been taken care of. My best men have found and neutralized all of the intruders. Except me. Uh, uh, everything's under control, Your Excellency. I'll take care of this minor detail. You have failed me for the last time. Guy obviously went to Villain School 101. Drain your henchmen of life, because they're always expendable anyway. Dodge, 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 dodge! Good. I always kind of wondered what would happen if you got hit by that. Well, it looks like the Iris Network's getting us to go there. Now, aren't they? Because we're going to get our Uncle Page back. But first, we got to take care of this guy. So, now, we have here our second boss. But wait, he's not done yet. He's going to corrupt it, just like they've been corrupting the Alpha sections. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh. But yeah, for the fourth time doing this. Yeah, so basically the way you fight this guy is we're going to have to end up hitting his feet. Which, right now, we can't do much. 
but as soon as Double H here gets here with his Carlson and Peters, he can use his super action to hit one up, we hit the other one up, and he goes flying. And then you just come around here, you use your disc launcher, hit the pearl, and there you go. Now you're going to want to, instead of just do, going back and doing that, you're going to want to hit him first, and then have him do the super action, because you have to hit his legs multiple times each time you hit the pearl. Just like every boss gets harder in, in every video game. But as long as you stand behind his legs, he's not he's not gonna be able to hit you, so. Or at least. I have no idea what those green things are. They've never hit me before, so. But as, as long as you stand behind behind his legs, you're pretty much gonna be all set, so. Really nothing to worry about. And this should be Oh! Ow! Ow! That actually really hurt. Well, as long as you're quick about it, I guess. But yeah, just dodge back a little as he falls, because that is going to fall down and hit you. And there you go, you're all set. Beat the boss. No. Not a hard boss, but again, this isn't a this isn't a game about boss fights. This is a game about finding out the conspiracy, the adventure, the story, and it's just a good adventure game. They've taken Paige. If it wasn't for you, it would have been me they took for a free ride in one of their luxury coffins, turn ticket not included. I'll find you, Paige, no matter what. Hang in there. All right. Terrorist strike attempted by the Iris. Yeah, whatever. We know what we did. Before we do anything else, though, we are going to give this to Double H because he's going to need it, and then give three of these to him to even out our health. But you're going to say you started out with five. Now you've only got two, so you're not even at all. I will show you that we are because we're going to come over here. Going to grab this pearl. 20th Pearl, which were actually the episodes after this. Anyway, the episodes after this, we are actually going to be going back and getting some pearls that we missed. But not that one with Rufus yet, because that one is a pain in the ass to get. But before we do anything else, I'm going to just quickly save right here. Alright, we use one of our newly found key cards, and just take the elevator. Yeah, now what I want to apologize for is the lack of quality with the last video. Because I didn't realize until after I... Excuse me. <coughs> mm. Sorry about that. Ah, I was using Hedonia's Hedonia 37's advice too, and taking a big, a sip of a big glass of water, but it's not really doing me that much good. Hey, you recognize this place? Affirmative. Behind this door lies the cursed machine they used to rob me of half my memories. Oh, before I forget, let's talk to him. The slaughterhouse is blocked by the military over there, aren't they? Affirmative. But I think there is an access from one of the races taking place near the slaughterhouses. The track passes right underneath the surrounding wall. Well, you think... Oh, wait, no, you're working for the Iris Network. I'm like, a soldier knowing about a secret way to get into the slaughterhouse, you'd think they'd patch that up, but... It's that way, Mr. Right, he's working for us. Um... Yes, there's a pearl down there, and we will get it. Don't worry, Double H. But before we do any of that, let's get let's go get, go back to our hovercraft. Is Paige a member of the Iris Network? Could be. Don't ask me. All I know is how much he meant to me. Looks like you're finally getting your head back together again. You back with us? 
getting there. But my head is killing me. The machine gave my brain a good scrubbing. Oh man, I just love Double H. He's just a great tragic figure. He's, I mean, he's the secret agent that got caught and then brainwashed. I mean... It just adds him... Adds so much character to him than the usual secret agent character. Mechanism is just over there. I should be able to clear the way. Oh, you should be able to clear the way. Okay. And this is why Double H becomes one of the more useful characters. Well, they're all useful except for Jade. She can't actually knock anything out of the way because she's so. Because she's not. She doesn't have any tools or anything, and she can't just bash her head against the wall. I almost said because she's weak, but I'm like, oh, we haven't been watching how many episodes? Twelve episodes where she's kicked more ass than both of these guys combined. And, see, I told you this fuse would come in handy. But yeah, we can leave, this, we can leave the Nutripils factory now. It works. Awesome. Let's go. What? This thing is eating up my insides. I, oh, I can't hold out much longer. The, the boys from Iris, they might be able to do something to help me. It's my only hope. Get me back to Iris. I'm begging you. I can't breathe, Miss Jade. I'm connecting to my auxiliary circuits, but they won't hold out very long. Well, let's go then. And he's just going to be a little slow because, well, like you said, he can't breathe. And he's going to say, like, I can't see you, but he'll just follow you. Don't worry about it. Just make sure... Well, you could just run down to the hovercraft. He'll he'll get there eventually. But I just find it more comforting to actually let him just follow behind you because you're not going anywhere until he gets in there anyway. But we're going to go this way first because we got four minutes. That's plenty of time to do, do whatever we want. We're just going to grab this pearl from the Reaper, and we're gonna smack into the Reaper's body because it goes flying, <laughs> which is funny, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> but, uh, oh yes, before we do anything else, I forgot that in order to increase this guy's health, wait, don't we have to, oh, maybe not, I thought we actually had to give the things to him, but, Looks like we don't have to. Looks like it already equips it. Okay. Anyway, let's go, let's go let's go save Double H now. But yes, what I was saying earlier is I want to apologize for the lack of quality in the last Beyond Good and Evil video because well, I forgot to set the thing to sixteen by nine before I started recording, so it wasn't the high quality videos that I've been recording lately. Hang on. So. This actually wasn't uh, 16 by 9 when I first recorded it, but I'm just re-recording it now. And as you found out earlier, so you know he's going to be able to follow you anyway. Where are you, Miss Jade? And I'm actually going to save again because I'm going to. can't waste any time. Oh, you're an idiot, Jade. Because I don't want to. This way, quick. I don't want to. I don't want to go into this cutscene. So. Well, like I said, I want to apologize for the last video, guys. And next time we're going to go into the Iris Network and hopefully get Double H some help. It looks like he needs it. Can we talk to him at all? No. Okay. Oh, well, on that note, guys, I will be... Well, hopefully seeing you, you guys next time on Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, OXFU. And thank you very much for watching. And hopefully next time I'll have more stories to tell rather than just blathering on about my, my my problems. Actually, I know I will have more stories to tell because, well, like I said, I had finals last week, and well, I've just been doing stuff, so it's 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 been a fun week. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, Oxfam. Take care now.